this is as close as you'll get to a real-time image of North Korea's claimed hydrogen bomb test. These are satellite images obtained by DigiGlobe, taken just about an hour after that seismic event was sensed underneath the ground here in central North Korea. I want to take you in a bit closer here, this analyzed uh, by experts. And when you look here, these are the entrances to the tunnel. This was an underground explosion. It's in an area where all four of North Korea's claimed nuclear tests have taken place. What they notice here, and again, keep in mind, this image taken just an hour after this seismic event went off, is on these heavily used roads leading into the tunnel entrance, there are what appear to be instrumentation vehicles, military vehicles carrying instrumentation equipment over here as well, possible equipment as well, that would make sense, analysts say, for going into that tunnel site just after a blast to measure exactly what went off, or measure radiation, etc. So a fascinating look just an hour after this test, which looks like another indication that this was indeed an attempted nuclear explosion. Whether it's an H-bomb test, a hydrogen bomb test, that's not known at this point. What's happening now, the next step in effect, is to look at what you sense up in the atmosphere. You have Japanese military planes that have been traveling not over this site, but close enough where the prevailing winds would take the air to try to sense radioact radioactive isotopes in the air that would indicate a nuclear explosion. They have not sensed that yet, but we are told by U.S. military officials that a U.S. Air Force sniffer plane, as it's known, could be deployed soon to the area as well to make a similar judgment, or at least attempt to make a similar judgment so they know exactly how big this explosion was uh, and what the components were. Key, key assessment going forward.